Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft with ZClay32. This is episode number 37. Alright, so we're just going to continue sort of working on this uh, abandoned mine shaft. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to scope out this little area up here. Because I am actually curious to see kind of what is up here. Talking about... Ha! There we go. Let's make this nice and safe for myself. Okay, it looks like we actually don't need that there, so... Put light up here and a light up there. And we'll just light up that in there, and I think we should be safe. Except for the uh, nice little cave spider. Open a window, and let's look around. Oh, and we're actually safe right here. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, hey there, little dude. How is it going? These are what we call slimes. And they are perfect for making sticky pistons. Uh, now these small ones won't actually hurt. So, but they will hopefully, yes, drop that, a slime ball. Now a slime ball we can use to make a sticky piston. And sticky pistons are where pistons, which are, um, yeah, we'll, we'll craft some of those later. Um, that's where they get, that's where things start to get really fun. Okay. So once again, I'm taking the cautious route. And we are going to, let's see here. Let's just plop that there and we are secure. Okay. Make sure there's nothing up above us, because you never know. And nice. Huh, I wonder what that is all the way over there. Is that lava or something? Uh, yeah. So now we can make some nice little sticky pistons. And let's see, is this going to fall down if I... Sorry, walking on top of gravel just makes me nervous. Like, you never know when you're going to do something to disrupt the gravel, and then all of it just sort of falls straight down. Wow, this is a pretty big iron vein here. Let's grab all this. And let's just go ahead and grab this wood while we're here, too. So I guess this can be kind of the start of um, sort of exploring the upper areas of this mine shaft. And yeah, let's go ahead and just grab all this wood here. Okay, so this, this is a nice little open area. Let's clear out all of my little cubby space. This is where I get super paranoid and have to essentially box myself in. So that way stuff can't get me, but I am a fan of playing it safe. Make sure it's nice and lit in here. And just round off the corner so that way this light can have an easier time of wrapping around the sides. Let's see here. Let's put one more up there. Yes, I know, I'm probably overusing the torches by just a ton, but it's okay. Alrighty. So now, I guess something I can do is I know that my little... Um, I want to try to build my stair shaft, or stair shaft, stairwell, right here. So maybe we can... Uh, 
maybe we can somehow bring this uh, this part of the mine shaft kind of over this direction and then back this way. Uh, hmm. I guess no, it might be might be easier maybe just to clear out this area right here and just have this area go straight up. Yeah, it might look a little nicer. All right. Let's see. So, as far as I guess eventful things today, uh, previously I kind of went over like my family is all kinds of sick right now, which is fantastic. Uh, but the other thing is we have been watching uh, the Hunger Games uh, competitions that uh, like uh, Lucklin and Captain Sparkles and uh, Paul Source Jr., Chimney Swift, uh, Sly, um, basically all, all of the really big names, at least big names to me, in the, uh, the world of Minecraft. Um, they all competed in this uh, Hunger Games uh, set of videos, and it was it was really awesome to to watch all of them uh, play that together. That was it was it was, it was just cool. Um, but the the first video that that I watched at when I was at my work, like as I was uh, programming, is uh, I was watching uh, Paul Source Jr.'s videos, and. I'm not gonna lie. I, w I was totally rooting for for Paul the entire time, um, but uh, he he did really well. I was I was very impressed. Uh, I won't I won't spoil it. I guess I kind of partly did, but um, if you haven't seen it, I, I do highly recommend watching it. Um, I won't tell you who wins, uh, but, but yeah, uh, I I definitely recommend watching uh, Paul's videos on it. He uh he has a very a very good um, very good commentary during the, the games. So, let's see here. I guess we'll just continue sort of flattening this out. And uh, I guess uh, we'll go ahead and block up that water just so it's easier to, to deal with. Oh, I guess I could have left that there. Uh, yeah, let's leave you there. You, there. All right. Now, let's see here. I kind of want to go back there. Oh, my OCD is kicking in. I gotta round off these or get rid of those corners. Because I could go back that way, but wow, that's really dark. It's just before we go back there, I want to light that up. <laughs> there we go. Just make sure nothing is back. Is that? Huh? So I could just go back to a wall. It totally just goes back to a wall. Okay. <laughs> well. Well then. It's uh, very anticlimactic. I thought this would go somewhere. I'm kind of disappointed that I haven't found a, a, uh, a treasure chest yet. Really, really want to find a treasure chest. <laughs> Seriously. Just give me one. Oh, I hear, I hear zombies. Make sure there's nothing. No holes above me. It's also why it's a good idea to sort of um, uh, smooth out these mine shafts. Is you you never know when you might miss one uh, sort of a, a drop point from a shaft right above you. So by just kind of smoothing it out like this, you know for certain that you know yes, uh, there is nothing, nothing's going to drop down. Um, everything is secure, and you're good to go. So. Oh, I see a zombie back there. All right. So it looks like that that line actually goes straight back this way. So I'm wondering if maybe that's the line that I kept hearing. And you know what? I bet it's. Oh. Yeah, they're they're just right above me right here. Okay, that that makes total sense. And I wonder if there is um, that light that I was probably seeing means that there's probably some sort of lava source right above here, and that's probably what that sizzling was that we heard just now. I think one of the monsters probably fell right into some, some lava. Alright. Oh, and there's another zombie up there. Yeah, I... 
If I had more patience, I would I would sort of enclose that that whole room. But I just <laughs> yeah, it's hard to believe I I don't have patience for something. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll probably go ahead and do that later on. All right, so let me just go ahead and store off this stuff, and we are going to just for just to make things easier for us, we're gonna just gonna make a furnace right here. And let's go ahead and plop some coal in. And while we're here, we're going to chow down on some bread. Cool. And let's go ahead and get some more wheat. See, once your farm becomes big enough, like then, you know, it, it starts it starts producing just a, a ton of food. So, jeez. They are really not happy up there. Um, so even though we don't have any uh, like melons, um, we're still getting you know an ample supply of food from from this wheat farm. So it definitely pays to you know just sort of take the time and uh, and put something together. Let's see if we can can we come out positive on this. Really hope so. I miss one. Oh, I guess I got everything. Wow, we came out. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, it's like came out 14 positive. That's pretty nuts. Wow, we got 11 extra from that. Okay, apparently we hit the seed jackpot on one of those. All right, so let's go ahead and till this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And let's just drop them all down. Cool. We almost have this filled out. And oh, look, some more. Wow, two more things a week grew. See, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, darn it. <laughs> no, that one didn't yield any seeds. How about you? Are you going to give me some seeds? Oh, you gave me two. <laughs> you probably heard me complaining. It's like, all right, fine. I'll give you some seeds. Okay. Cool. So let's see here. Um, oh, let's go ahead and store our wheat. Um, I'm not going to make any bread just yet. Um, I'll, I'll, I can do that at a later time. And store some string. You know what I might do is use the string. If you ever find some um, uh, lapis lazuli, uh, I can either make a block of lapis or we can use the lapis to make blue wool. And then I always like to hang blue wool, uh, blue, black, or even uh, red wool from the ceilings to, uh, for the chandeliers. So we'll go ahead and switch those out. And let's see here. I guess we can make some more. Uh, let's get rid of my gravel. Uh, some more torches while we're here. Yeah, let's go ahead and store this dirt. We don't need it. There we go. And let's just go ahead and I'll save half of the coal. Just that way, if we're ever in sort of dire straits and we need we need something, we can go ahead and grab it. Okay, let's see. Is there anything? Let me just make sure there's no 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 mine shafts that way. Okay. All right. So I guess we will. Yeah, I think it's that zombie. That's, okay, we're just gonna make some stairs up here. Some very ugly looking stairs, but whatever. There are stairs nonetheless. All right, you are you right here, dude? Making that noise? Oh God, my <laughs> my uh, timer just went off and it scared the scared the stuff out of me. All right, so uh, really quick, I'm gonna block that off. Muhaha, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we, we will pick up here uh, next time and uh, see if we can take care of that zombie. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.